what I'm going to do in this short video is show you how you can use an ad blocker uh, to get rid of all of these ads that you're seeing on this page behind me. So I've come to my news website and you can see I've got ads here for Code Camp and some over here for Tiger Air. As I scroll down through the news page, uh, you'd also see that I've got banner ads across the middle here for news.com and so on. Uh, what I'd like to do is actually get rid of all of those ads uh, so they're not visible on my page. Uh, you can see even when I come across to the Bible Gateway page over here, uh, it's got ads across the top and down the side. And it, as a teacher, when you're trying to show students a news article or a Bible verse or something from a particular page, these ads can be very distracting and take away the attention from the verse or the part of the page that you're actually wanting to focus on. So in order to do that, what we're going to do is jump across here to Chrome and we're going to go to the apps. So you can see up in the top left hand corner, I'm going to apps and we're going to add an extension to Chrome, which is able to block these ads. So if we go to apps, apps and then choose the web store, uh, the page I'm going to use or the blocker I'm going to use is called uBlock and so I just simply search for uBlock and you can see it's right here it's uBlock Origin offered by Raymond Hill uh, apparently this is an open source um, ad blocker when you have a look at the details you can just push add to Chrome you can see that it's got 21,000 reviews and they're four point lots 4.7 stars and it's got more than 10 million users uh, so that gives you a bit of an idea as to how many people are actually using this blocker and what sort of rating it's actually getting to use it you simply push add to chrome and what that's going to do is add or you have to push add extension that's going to add an extra extension up here in the top right hand corner of your screen and these extensions are used to add extra capabilities to Chrome. Okay, so you can see that the uBlock Origin has now been added to Chrome. So if I close that little pop-up that was there, then if I come back to news.com and I simply refresh that page, you'll see that when I refresh that page that all of the ads that were here previously, the Tiger Air ad and the Code Camp ad, as well as the banner ads are gone. Uh, you can also use this uh, ad blocker you can see up here in the top corner it's got 40 things that it's currently blocking to block other components uh, so if I come down here you can see I've got a section that news.com has put in and if I want to block that I can simply right click and I can choose to block this element and that will get rid of that element from the page as well uh, you can also come over here to the uBlock add-on you can see that you can push the big power button to turn it off. So if you want to see the ads on a page for a particular reason or if a page is blocking you because it's saying you have an ad blocker, you can turn that off. You can also use this little picker here to zap a particular element. So just like you can right click on the element and get rid of it, if I turn on the zapper, then what I can do is I can start to hover around my page and you'll see that it's suggesting things that I can block. So if I have a section of this page that always appears, let's scroll to the bottom for example, okay, you've got here sections of the page, you can see if I wanted to get rid of this most red section, then what I can use it, do is use the element zapper, move my cursor around until I find that element. You can see that as I select my little cursor, it's choosing the components. So if I've got a component that's inside something, I'd normally need to move to a space and that's going to increase the area. If I want to select something even bigger, I'd need to move to a space that selects that whole area over there. Uh, in I'm off the screen, over there, to actually select that whole section. And then I can click on that and you can see that that whole section is now gone. Uh, so you can block individual elements as well from your page. Uh, if I reload Bible Gateway, uh, you'll see it does a similar thing on there. BibleGateway.com. Uh, when I load this page, you'll see that the ads are gone from down the side. And if I search for a particular verse, 2 Peter 3, 8, 9, you can see that the ads are gone from down the side as well. And that means that there's much more focus on this part for the students as you're teaching them. Uh, ad blockers can help 
you to bring attention to particular ways as well as get rid of annoying features on annoying ads on pages uh, these also work on YouTube and sites like that too which will remove some of the ads that are visible there uh, hopefully this has helped and is a valuable thing for you